it was very different than any other program that I had heard about before uh, that complemented well with my undergrad studies where it was theory based and, and this one was uh, more of a hands-on approach. Because it's a master's program at the University of Washington, students are going to get really valuable intellectual frameworks that they can use throughout their careers. But what the Mays program does that's different from other master's programs at the University of Washington or anywhere as far, as far as I know, is also combines this with this really um, hands-on learning and training. A real focus on that finish and that release switch. By having the rowing activity as you know the first activity that we did as a cohort. Hands up, laid on the water. It really showed that this program was about teamwork and um, moving forward, you really relied on your team members as well as yourself. We needed to build this relationship, you know, on day one and really rely on each other. Those kind of pre-stage the team building skills that we're going to build throughout the course and also through these capstones. So they're going to be in a team working as kind of mini consultants for a real uh, organization in the, in the Seattle area. A lot of the capstone projects that we worked on were, you know, very real world projects and ones that affected millions of people, not here in, in, just in the U.S., but, you know, across the world. It gives people a chance to really try the hands-on work in a way that, that is actually going to take it, get taken up by an organization. Uh, and because our cohort was so unique and diverse from different backgrounds, military, uh, civilian, nonprofit, that we were able to bring our experience and background and tackle these issues and present this to the, uh, to the Civic Council. It's not just how do you all get on the same page, but how do you take advantage of, what, of the skills and the expertise that people are bringing from their previous 5, 10, 15 years of experience out there. We worked with uh, a group of May students two years back on a project outlining and investigating different regulatory frameworks around sustainability. It's one of the most important fields for corporations. And the MACE program and the student group was instrumental in helping us getting the lay of the land and a comprehensive picture of what's really out there, what are future and upcoming regulations uh, that we have to be prepared to meet. When you're actually faced with here's the funding constraint or here's the political situation or here's the timing in which we need to deliver for a donor, um, that's when you really start to get a sense of how you're taking this learning into the real world. Seattle is on the one hand side a very unique place for such a program. On the other hand, it's exactly the right place for such a program. The Seattle area is a very international area. And it's very outward facing international. You could think about the Seattle companies that, that are well known. These are companies with a global reach. Right? One of the other best parts of the MACE program was the crisis negotiation. Uh, at that time, it was the North Korea missile crisis project that we were working on. The simulation event itself is the capstone of the capstone. Oh, as future ambassadors. It's the crown jewel of the class. It's what students look forward to. It's what students train and prepare for. It was unique to kind of see the approach uh, our cohort members took uh, to come up with a solution that not only benefited their nation, but also ensured global security. International equality. That weekend in the simulation is precious. Negotiation is a huge part of work life, teamwork and leadership. That's a huge part of working in any organization. So students get that kind of hands-on training in these skills as they're using this application of international relations theoretical knowledge into the practical. We all share a um, proximity to one another. It's a different modality of learning. You're there because of your allies, but your allies. I make it a class that they remember their whole lives. I consider that like a real mark of success. When I have students who graduated years ago talk about the things they learned in the simulation, how useful they were in their careers. I think having an understanding of international relations will help you in almost every job and every profession uh, you will be working in going forward. It's that interdisciplinary look that people are going to need um, to solve these really big hairy problems that we've got right now. I think it's a, a much wider diversity of backgrounds than we see in the traditional uh, more academic oriented master's programs. They've actually had successful careers. They are already successful, but they want to change it up. They want to develop, and often they want to develop a more of an international element. So it's a perfect place to come in, get new skills and pivot, and begin something else.